ground ball. Busby has it to Henderson, the throw to first, and that'll do it. A 5-4-3 double play. The Florida State Seminoles are your 2017 ACC champions. Just hours after the Florida State Seminoles defeated North Carolina 7-3 in the 2017 ACC championship game, the NCAA revealed what seemed impossible just a few short weeks ago. The Knolls would host a regional at Dickhauser Stadium. The way these young men fought, stayed together, trusted each other, uh, it's really, it was some kind of excitement yesterday. We had a good idea because of all the talk and, and follow social media and, and people were talking about us maybe hosting. So we were all happy and optimistic. And then when we got off the plane and found out, I mean, it was just, we were, it was almost like, yeah, we were excited, but everyone still was kind of in like that snap like game mode. But just how did a team that finished with a 500 record in conference, who spent the final weeks of the regular season outside of almost all major polls accomplish such a feat? It starts on the field, where the Seminoles went 6-0 and on their road trip to play a series against the Louisville Cardinals and, of course, the ACC tournament. But the team says what happened off the field helped just as much. I think that trip really grew the team, like, brought us all closer, and, and we had a lot of time together, and, and I think it was exactly what we needed. We wanted to stay there as long as we could, you know, because that meant that we were going to be in the ACC tournament for a long time, and we were able to get out there and and win it, and um, we're excited to be back home in Tallahassee for regionals. FSU baseball grew a stronger bond as a team over the 12-day road trip, but the breaks also bounced the Seminoles' way for the first time all year. Most notably, Jackson Luke's walk-off homer in the 12th against Notre Dame. They were hitting the ball. I mean, they, they were knocking the cover off the ball, and we seemed like we were escaping every inning and that in, in extra innings. And um, But to get that win... And that, that huge at bat by Jackson and, and Busby. Young guys stepped up, the old guys stepped up, our coaching staff just kept pounding in our brains that, that it's gonna come through and, and when it does, things are good things are gonna happen and, and it's finally paying off. The Garnet and Gold may be hosting a regional with a home crowd, but considering the twists and turns that have made up their season, the team isn't taking anything for granted. Very competitive regional. I mean UCF, we already played them this year twice, I mean, at their place. Very, very competitive team. Auburn, they've had their ups and downs as well. I mean, I thought they were going to host a regional, honestly, but um, but, but they're going to be a tough team in, in Tennessee Tech. They've, they've obviously earned their way here, and that's going to be a tough Friday night game. When I saw that our regional was paired with the Lubbock regional, the first thing I thought about, we got to play well against Tennessee Tech. So come Friday, the Tribe will play in their 40th straight regional, the current NCAA streak, hoping that a season saved by a two-week road trip will end with another one. Ryan Kelly, Warchant.com.